like most presidents, Republicans and Democrats alike, from Dwight Eisenhower to President Obama, I felt an obligation to try to remove the specter of nuclear war from our children and grandchildren's future. Ending nuclear tests was a priority of my administration. By 1994, nuclear missiles in the United States and Russia were no longer targeting each other's country. We achieved an indefinite extension of the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty and the ratification of the Chemical Weapons Convention. We continued inspections in Iraq, and we made a deal with North Korea that was much derided, but averted the development of dozens of nuclear weapons. In 1996, we reached agreement on a comprehensive test ban treaty. I was the first world leader to sign that treaty, but unfortunately, the Senate rejected it in 1999, even though we had a robust nuclear force and nuclear experts affirmed that we could have maintained a safe and reliable deterrent without the tests. The most successful nonproliferation program we pursued constantly since the Congress passed it in 1991 is the non-Luger program to bring all the nuclear weapons out of the former Soviet Union and into Russia proper and secure and then dismantle the weapons and destroy the material. President Yeltsin and I each agreed to destroy 50 tons of plutonium. Now, Russia still has the biggest biological stocks in the world. So it's a good thing that we can spend the unlucrative funds on this, and we have to expand our efforts there. I think the Russians and the United States also should agree to a further reduction in our warheads. President Yeltsin and I had tentatively agreed to a substantial reduction, but alas, neither his Duma nor my Congress would approve it. There are two things I think we should keep in mind about our current nuclear situation. First of all, every country that's ever been paranoid about nuclear weapons thinks they have the right to have them. The Indians wanted a nuclear weapon, and they got one. The Pakistanis wanted one, and they got one. The Americans spent years trying to research the development of two new nuclear weapons, even though a lot of us oppose that. We simply have lost the impetus to nonproliferation. We need a serious effort now, led by Americans and Russians and Europeans, to stop proliferation. I believe it would be better if in the next seven years we could work toward a more comprehensive nonproliferation agreement. Second, I think it's unlikely that any country that gets nuclear weapons would knowingly initiate the use of them, even Iran. But every time you have nuclear weapons in more hands, you increase the chances of accidents, and you increase the chances that unscrupulous people will either sell or steal the fissile material and give it to terrorists or criminals who could use the nuclear weapons in small, dirty bombs. We simply have to get back into the business of nonproliferation quickly and in a cooperative way. No matter how much military power we have, our ability to make other people do things they don't want to do is quite limited. Therefore, we should be trying to build a world with more partners and fewer adversaries. I wish you well in your deliberations. I appreciate the President's determination to revive the Nuclear Nonproliferation Treaty, first envisioned by President Eisenhower, first advanced in a temporary way by President Kennedy. Then we finally had the treaty that I signed and our Senate wouldn't ratify it. I think we can reverse all that today. There's also some other reasons to hope. I'm encouraged by the work the Chinese and the Russians are doing with the United States to contain the North Korean nuclear problem, both to restrict the ability of North Korea to export nuclear materials or technology and to import materials that will enable it to expand its arsenal. People know we're on the brink of a whole different world that could be exploded in a negative way by nuclear weapons are exploded in a wonderful way by cooperation. Your meeting here today increases the chance that we'll choose the latter course. Thank you.